Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Dear students, I hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also well. Welcome to our online platform of NIVS Home School. Here I am Muhammad Farooq Hussain, Assistant English Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Now I am going to conduct an English language class for the students of class 3. And our today's topic is adjective, demonstrative and descriptive adjectives. So dear students, this is actually your revision class. So come to the board and practice. Dear students, first of all, I have given five examples of descriptive adjectives. In your previous class, you already learned about descriptive adjectives, its definition and its all about. Descriptive means describe something. So there are also some options, a strong, red, muddy, deep, angry. So by using these options, you will have to fill up these sentences. First sentence is, we got lost in the gap forest. We got lost in the what kind of forest? A strong or red or muddy or deep or angry. What would be? Here would be deep. Deep, deep forest. Number B, the dress had gap buttons. The dress had how many or what kind of buttons? The dress had red buttons. Number C, clean your shoes. They are gap. You have to clean your shoes because they are what? They can be muddy. Okay. Number D, the elephant is a gap animal. The elephant is a gap animal. What kind of animal? A strong animal. The elephant should be an a a strong. Number E, the gap bull charges at the van. The what kind of bull it should be or it, it may be? The what kind of a strong or red or muddy or deep or angry? What kind of angry? The angry bull charges at the van. Angry. Okay? Now we will discuss about demonstrative adjectives, okay? Demonstrative adjectives. In your previous class, you already learned about demonstrative adjectives. And although it is, uh, it is your revision class, I will not go on that topic. I will just practice it for your better understanding. Here are also some options given by which you have to fill up these questions. This, that. These two are used for something that is singular and nearby. And these and those, these are used for plural something or that is far away from your place. So dear students, come to the examples. Number A, will you pass me gap glass of orange juice over here, over there? I am very thirsty. Dear students, this is very much easiest topic because first of all if you go through the whole sentence then it would be very much easy for you to answer so first of all your duty is to finish reading the whole sentence then it would be very much easy so i am reading again will you pass me gap glass of orange juice over there i am very thirsty so here would be Will you pass me that glass of orange? Okay, that. That glass of orange. Number B, John wants to play football with gap children over there. Here, over there, over there. That means it's far away from your place. So here would be those, those children. You know that children are plural, so here would be those, okay? Number C, Gap is Rajiv's bet, not yours. Okay, then yours is under gap chair over there. Over there, that means this is not nearby you. So, here would be this is Rajiv's bet, not yours. Okay, 
and although there we use this and yours is under gap chair that chair over there okay that chair although there is written over there over there means it's not near about you number d is gap yours umbrella by the door no it's not but gap black one here is mine mark this word dear students here here means it's near about you so it would be very much easy for you to answer this one is gap your umbrella by the door that means this door is not near by you so is that your umbrella by the door no it's not but this black one here although there is written here so we'll we'll have to use here this this black one here is mine okay number e gap books are not mine the students mark books it's plural by the window are mine here is also mark that here is also plural something so we will have to use plural um, demonstrative adjectives here so gap books are not mine uh, and gap by the windows are mine so here would be these book these books are not mine those by the window that means this window is not near by you are mine so its answer would be these books are not mine because books are plural so you have to use this t h e s e and here are also plural mark in r so we have to use those okay dear students this is your practice and these fives are for your hw homework and for your better understanding i am also solving this five also i didn't give any options here so you have to finish it by yourself number a it is your 18th hw my parents cooked a gap lunch for us what kind of lunch it may be or it should be delicious delicious okay number b the princess wore a gap dress the princess wore a gap dress what kind of dress nice dress or beautiful dress okay number c my friends enjoyed the gap pudding that my sister and i made so what kind of pudding it may be it may be tasty okay the students this three are from descriptive adjectives and these two are from demonstrative adjectives last two are from demonstrative adjectives so be careful here number d do you always buy your uniform from gap shop here mark this here here means it's near by you or gap sh shop across the street across the street means this place is not near by you so do you always buy your uniform from this shop this shop here or that shop across the street okay number e gap books are not mine gap by the window are mine so although there is plural sign this three are plural sign so you have to use plural things these books are not mine then those those by the window are mine dear students these these fives are for your homework dear students this is all about today's class of adjectives i hope you all have understood today's class and for your better understanding you must practice it home more and more assalamu alaikum warahmatullah